Okay, good evening, my dear students. So this is the second and last part of uh, module number five, Mathematics of Graph. Specifically, we will talk about graphs of efficient routes or routes in this one or in this part. So let's go straight to the first part, edges with value. Determine the most efficient route given a weighted graph. That's the goal. So um, what you can see here is a graph. So, yung mga um, vertex is uh, labeled with cities or states in the U.S. So, San Francisco, Chicago, New York, and so on. There's a little modification here. You will notice that the edges are labeled with values or number. Like, for example, Chicago and New York, the edges between them is labeled with 713. So, this, is, uh, uh, this values actually pertains to the distance between the cities so diba, um, if there's an edge between two points or between two vertex that means that uh, there's a route may ruta may daan papunta to. and the values here are actually telling you gano ka layo in this distance that you will travel if you want to get to Chicago uh, from Chicago to New York for example so this graph is useful if you want to find out which route would most efficiently bring you to every city once and um, return you back to the starting city. So um, it should be making sense now what uh, efficient route means. So ibig sabihin, aling ruta yung tatahakin ko if I want to take the shortest uh, distance possible. Okay? So alin mo na pupuntahan ko para and then which one is the next one and the third one and the last one and so on. But if I compute the total distance that I traveled, I will actually get the smallest possible value. So if you're a tourist and then you want to visit all of them once, and then gusto mo, for example, um, bumalik kung saan ka nagbulang city, because maybe your hotel is there, located there, and so on. So you're actually looking for a Hamiltonian circuit. Okay, visiting all of the vertex vertices once, and then returning to the starting vertex. That's a Hamiltonian circuit. Okay, so this is actually a weighted graph. So the values that you can see are actually called weights. And then, of course, as I have explained, the most efficient route is the route that will result to the smallest sum of distances. Okay, this is just repeating the definition. A weighted graph is a graph in which each edge is associated with a value called a weight. In this case, the weights represent the distances between the cities. Okay, let's go straight to, uh, to an application problem. Mm. So you have different set of cities here. So Chicago, New York, Washington, Philadelphia, Atlanta, and Dallas. Okay, the table below lists the distances in miles between six popular cities that are particular or that a particular airline flies to. Suppose a traveler would like to start in Chicago, visit the other five cities this airline flies to and to return to Chicago. Find the three different routes that the traveler could follow and find the total distance flown for each route. Mm. Okay, so this table means that from New York to Chicago, the distance is 713 miles. So since this cell also is the intersection between New York and Chicago, um you expect that, there are, this, that the value will be the same. So this is this cell is an intersection between Chicago and Chicago, so dash, no value, of course. You're already in Chicago. And then there are some um, cities that have no flights um, going in and out of them. For example, Philadelphia going to Washington, and vice versa, there are no flights. The same with New York to Philadelphia, no flights. So you're given with values. Your next task to find the efficient route is to create your own weighted graph. So since meron tayong anim na destination or cities, gumawa tayo ng hexagon or we um we place the vertices such that parang na sides siya no pen ng hexagon, six sided. So let's check Chicago and New York. Between them is 713 miles. So there's an edge between or connecting New York and Chicago, labeled 713. Between Chicago and Philadelphia, 
665. So there's is this edge connecting Chicago and Philadelphia, labeled 66 and 5. So remember, na yung length ng edges doesn't correspond to their actual distance or the distance between the cities. You're just showing that there's a there's a flight, di ba? connecting the two cities. But the distance, like for example, Chicago, the edges connecting New York and Chicago is much, much shorter than Chicago and the edge between Chicago and Philadelphia. Pero mas maikli yung, pero mas mahaba talaga yung distance, di ba, between Chicago and New York. So what I want to say is um, the length of the edges doesn't define or doesn't suggest the actual length or the actual yeah, distance between flight. And then also the, sh the uh, location of the points or the vertices. For example, dahil nasa north, nandito sa taas yung New York mo, if you look at the map, it doesn't mean that New York will be um, north of Atlanta, for example. Okay? So, yeah, yun. Yung napit ang gusto natin lang natin pakita is um, which um, cities have connecting graph, connecting flights through the, by connecting the vertices with the uh, edges so since new york and washington oh no new york and yes new york and washington no flights between them so you have no edge okay you can do this by trial and error diba? for example let's start with diba sabi, we have to start with chicago let me just the red and then philadelphia oopsie Philadelphia, hmm, maybe I'll go to Atlanta, and then Washington, and then Dallas, and then New York, and then Chicago. So I was able to go back to Chicago and then visited all of the cities. So I did well. So you can have other combinations, diba? Until makuha mo yung um, the most efficient, or yung sum na may pinakamaliit. Um, the distances, the sum of the distance is the smallest. That's the most efficient route. Here, um, I already provided them for you, but um, you already you already know what to do, diba? If I ask you to do that later on, I will teach you two techniques to find the most efficient route that doesn't involve trial and error. But I'm showing you, yeah, how to how do you compute for for the uh, no, for the most efficient the total weight? So you just add them, diba? Distance between Chicago and New York, that's 7, 1, and 3. Between New York and Dallas, that's 1, 3, 7, 4, and so on and so forth. And then, obviously, among the three of them, uh, this one is the smallest sum. So that's actually, you should actually take this route. Chicago to Philadelphia and then to Dallas. Washington, Atlanta, New York, and Chicago. Okay? Now, um, I want to uh, teach you the techniques. We have two algorithms that we can use. The greedy and the edge picking algorithm in order to find the most efficient route. So, the first one is called greedy algorithm. Bakit tinawo siyang greedy? Kasi every chance that it get, it will choose the cheapest, quote-unquote. Or in this uh, in this particular in our previous example, the shortest distance possible at every chance it get. So, the greedy algorithm is only applicable to complete graphs. If you remember, complete graphs, for example, point A is connected to all the other points or vertices. Same with point B, all of them are connected to each other. So, kapag complete graph, you can use the greedy algorithm. Okay, let me tell you about the steps. So you have to choose a vertex to start at. So if I choose A, so you can see that I have to consider five different values. So I have 8 going to B, 15 going to C, 4 to D, 5, 5 to E, and then 13 to F. Obviously, I have to choose the cheapest or the smallest value, which is 4. And then now I'm at point D. Remember, I have to travel to all of them. So... 12, 2, 8, and set of it, obviously 2, right? And then at point B, 
So I have 8, 5, um, 11, and 6. So obviously 5. Dapat hindi ka malita sa pagtingin. Because uh, you will make a mistake if you do that. Now this is very important. Listen to this carefully. At point F, I have 13, 5, 14, 7. Oh no, 5 is no longer included. 13, 14, 7, and 10. Sabihin mo, sir, yung 7, obviously, di ba? That's the smallest. But notice this. If you use, or if you choose number 7, you will be, you will be already closing the circuit. See? Meron ka close loop here. And you don't want to finish um, the travel without visiting point E uh, and vertex C. Di ba? So, in that particular case, don't choose the number 7 or the weight 7, although that's smallest among the choices. Actually, choose 10. That will bring you to E. And then, now you have 5. Now, if I choose 5, I will close the loop again. Diba? Hindi ko pa nabibisit yung C. So, I will not choose 5. I'll choose this one, of course. You can put arrowheads para alam ko kung saan ka pumunta. And then, I, I can now finally close it going back to A. Remember, you have to go back to the starting point or vertex. You can also check if you have two lines coming in and out of each vertex para malaman mo if you did correctly. Okay? So, that's just the explanation here. Okay. Okay. So the total weight is 4, diba? D to B2, B to F5, and so on. So 5, 10, 6, 15. The total weight is 42 using the greedy algorithm. Okay, let's try that again for emphasis. Okay, let's start with A, starting at vertex A. So 8, 6, 5, and 9. I'll go to 5, of course. 5, 4, of course. Five, I'll go to five, 4. Okay, I can already t um, see 3, but check out the other. Okay, 3. And then, there are two 5s, here and here. I cannot choose this, because I will be making... A closed loop preemptively or prematurely I will go to E instead and then from E close the loop okay now I go back to A what's the total weight 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 so 9 8 <laughs> you do the math the total weight is 32. Okay. On the next part, I will discuss about edge picking algorithm. I'll see you.